I've just taken delivery on a Composity Ellipse stirrup set and I thought I'd do a quick review. So the first thing that's really noticeable about these stirrups is that they've got this extra bulk underneath. The reason is that um, there's a metal core running through here which is meant to make the stirrup absolutely unbreakable even though it's got an open side here. This open side is flexible but it really takes quite a lot of force to flex it. Um, so you can push it out um, but I don't think it would move significantly unless you fell off it really does take quite a lot of force to bend it further so for me that feels a lot more stable than some of the other stirrup designs that there is on the market at the moment where that just snaps open either this way or that way um, just on a spring the tread this is the um, normal tread but they also do a version with spikes but to be honest although those are really small little bobbles they do really provide quite a lot of grip doesn't really come out on the video but underneath here there's like a foam layer so on both the front and the back of the stirrup it has quite a nice give it feels quite soft and squishy so that is going to be quite nice on your joints but the downside of that I would think that over time like mud and grime is going to get into here and it's going to be really hard to keep clean because of that spongy surface there's also a bit of a gap here as well, which again is, is just going to tend to get quite grubby. The top of the stirrup, there's two different versions and this is how it comes supplied with the offset top. Um, but there is another set of these little inserts if you prefer to just have your stirrup running flat. The bonus of having it um, with the offset version Sorry, I haven't done my stirrup up properly, but um, if you hold it against the wall, you can see that it does naturally fall outwards. So if you were to lose your stirrup or when you're first getting on, that's going to be much easier to find it um, than if you use the other setup, which is going to hold it more flat, like so. Um, the downside that I found for this, excuse me a sec, just doing up my stirrup, um, is the amount that you have the loops from the side so it's really quite a messy look due to the width um, of that top piece and that I find a little bit off-putting myself but I guess over time especially if your stirrup leathers were a little bit softer it might not look quite as bad. Um, so for me overall not having ridden in these I'm not going to because I've decided that I won't keep them um, but the benefits I would say are the safety aspect that sidearm is really good and the fact that this design means it's unbreakable is obviously fantastic downsides I would say are the bulkiness um, I also forgot to mention the weight but these are quite significant uh, about 600 grams according to my scales and they they feel very much the same way as a normal steel stirrup so don't expect them to be lighter um, I also find that bulkiness of the top eye look quite off-putting.